Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video and today we are playing out the F16A MLU or the Block 20. So thank you all the members, all the Patreons, make sure to subscribe, we are trying to hit 50,000 subscribers until the end of the year. And let's fly out, fly it out. Uh, we didn't actually make a video on the Block 20 or the MLU yet on the patch, uh, because I, as well, I was actually flying the other ones. And I had to actually research this one and make it uh, fully upgraded to make the proper video on it. So it took a little bit of time. Uh, but we are finally here. We are flying the best F-16 out there in the game right now. Why is that? Well, it is the Block 15, which is already the better one, right? Uh, but it has some minor uh, things. So the only thing that it really matters right now in the game, uh, it is that... It is a ADF or a block 15 that it is able to actually do ground striking in the game. So it has the Mavericks, it has the bombs, Mark 84s, Mark 82s. So yeah, pretty good. And it still has the ability to carry the Sparrows and the A9Ls as well. So it's the the version that can do all. You know, if you have the block 20, uh, 10 on the Americans that only can do the, the, the short range and air to ground and the ADF they can do uh, basically interceptors, uh, BVR, you know, and, and air to air. Um, here we can have everything on all in one. But there are some things missing. Remember, I already did a video talking a little bit about this, but the F F-16 in general, it is missing some stuff. One of the things is the Raider. So it has the wrong Raider. Uh, some of them at least um, the APG 66 obviously it is the radar used in, in the F-16A uh, But we don't have the correct version especially in the MLU uh, The MLU should have more range with the V3 version um, More range and also TWS. Uh, it's not game changer But it would help a little bit, right? So hopefully they add that radar soon uh, But overall it is just another F-16 uh, it is the F-16 to go for it uh, if you are thinking on going to one. Obviously, you always have to consider the aircraft that you want depending on the nation that you have to actually grind it. So, yeah, don't grind the whole tree, the, the, the whole Chinese tech tree uh, just for this aircraft, especially because uh, if you have, for example, the US, the Block 15 and the Block 10, they can do the same thing. Uh, but in different aircraft, right? So each aircraft will do its own thing. And also, um, the US and Israel will receive, in a soonish future probably, better versions of the F-16 that will be way better than the Block 20 anyway, you know? So it's not an aircraft, even though it is the best one right now, and I think it will be very good for a very long time, especially uh, when we have, uh, for example, Fox 3 missiles and stuff like that added to the game. Um, it will make it so that this aircraft has kind of a long future ahead of it. Uh, it's like the MLD receiving the R-73. It's not something, you know, completely that it's going to, like, make the aircraft amazing. But it will help it maintain a, a very good position in higher tiers for a very long time. The JK is basically the same uh, example as well. It is an old F-4E, right? But it has the Raider. And... It is getting more and more weapons to be able to actually fight the fourth, fight the fourth generations uh, that we are facing, right? So yeah, this Block 20, it is probably going to be the best A variant that we have in the game uh, now and in the future. Because right now it already is, but in the future it is also going to be the best A variant probably. Uh, only losing for the seas, right? Uh, so, yeah, for now, it is an amazing aircraft. As I said, not really worth to get the whole Tech 3 just for it. But if you are there with the F5E, you know, you already have the F16 and you know that you love it, and you already have the F5E for the Chinese Tech 3, I mean, why not? Uh, it is amazing. Uh, the skin is a little bit different. I added some um, high visibility decals on the top part of the camouflage. As you see so it became a very very cool and yeah it is just one of those aircraft that it is going to have fans uh, even in the future as I said in the future it can receive the MRAM 
uh, A9Ms and other missiles like that, uh, and it's just going to be way better. And even the pod, it doesn't have the, I think it's, is it TGP? I think it's TGP, I don't remember the name. Uh, but it has a, a basically a thermal pod that it can be used uh, for actually targeting the Mavericks and bombs and guided bombs and stuff, uh, just like the tornadoes do. So that would help a little bit as well. Uh, but yeah, overall, a very, very fun aircraft. I still think that F-16, um, it is, even though it is inferior to the MiG-29 in many things, uh, I think for, I, I was actually having a conversation on this on the Discord uh, today on the morning, actually, uh, because the F-16, I think, yes, it is inferior in, especially in BVR, but uh, in many occasions, uh, it is inferior compared to the F-14 and the MiG-29. But the thing is, the F-16 is such an easy aircraft to fly, that re it, it really doesn't matter. It's like a super F-5, right? So it is easy to just take off, point your nose to the target and get kills. It is as easy as that, right? And not a lot of aircraft in top tier, you can actually say that you can do that. Every aircraft that you fly, they tend to have a certain way they're meant to be played. And of course, the F-16 also has that, but on the F-16 is just easier, man. It's just everybody can fly this thing. The cannon is good. It's an easy cannon to use. The radar is very simple, uh, even though uh, I think the MLU will get eventually a more complicated radar, as I said, with especially the TWS and stuff that you will need to to learn how to use it but in a general sense the radar is very 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 simple to use you just point to the target and click and get a lock uh, the A9Ls are one of the best uh, missiles out there in the IR department and obviously the AIM-7M which is right now a copy paste version of the AIM-7F in the files it is also very very easy to just get a lock shoot, the tar shoot on the target and get an easy kill right so everything on this aircraft is easy you have quite a lot of flares uh, you have i think in this one is uh is it 90 i think it's 90 i have to confirm but still it is a lot of flares uh, for such a small engine uh, you do need to be careful with the uh, the amount of um of, of heat that the aircraft produces against some of the missiles especially the A9L on a rear aspect kind of situation and even the Magic 2 they can tend to just ignore a lot of the flares so yeah you do need to be careful with that but beyond that it's just a very easy aircraft to fly uh, another thing that you have to consider is energy management Who, of course I already did some videos talking about a, lot, a little bit about this but all the F-16s, the MiG-29s uh, Especially these two, but you can uh, put on that kind of situation the Mirai 2000 as well, and a little bit of the, the Vegan as well. Um, they have more energy than normally you need to do anything. Especially on the Mirage, on the MiG-29 and on the F-16, you definitely have a lot more energy than you, that you need. You know, you, you have way more energy than you ever need to actually do dogfights and stuff. Uh, which means that due to the fly-by-wire system, um, you kind of escape the better turning zone of speeds very quickly and you become kind of a compress uh, bus, basically, a struggle bus of compression, right? It compresses a lot at higher than 800, 900 kilometers per hour. So, yeah, it's... I'm using normally just 20 minutes and not even using the external fuel tank because you really don't need the full afterburner most of the time. It is really, really not uh, a, a smart thing because not only you're going to get out of the best turning capabilities of the aircraft in the speed gap there, you're going to get too fast and compress. You also get too fast to the battle, which is already a battle that it's already too fast, right? Uh, being five minutes, maybe 10 minutes max on a kind of battle time right so it's just you gotta really conserve your energy in a inverted sense of conserving energy you have to actually spend the energy actually a lot more not conserve so yeah but it is an, a very nice aircraft 
and I think it's just one of those that everybody can jump in and just be happy about it. It's fun, it's fast, it turns well, has a simple radar, good missiles, everything that you want in an aircraft. An aircraft that I was not expecting to like. I actually hated, not hated, but I really disliked the, the F-16 uh, before actually coming to War Thunder. And it kind of grew on me. So yeah, very, very nice. I cannot wait to fly the C variants on the Israelis and on the US. And yeah, guys, on more nations maybe as well. Um, I don't think there is any more nations for now, but still in the future. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think about the MLU. Um, if it needs the upgrade on the radar that it had in real life or not. Or if it's fine for now and once we receive more stuff, it should be getting it. Uh, anything else that you want to let me know in the comments about the F-16. And I see you guys on the next one. Make sure to subscribe and bye, guys. See you.